and of the Spirit. The other Sunday we shared a message about that God spoke and said, let's create man in our image. Which meant God wanted to create people that will be in his image. If you are in the image of God, the Bible says you will rule. The Bible says you will subdue. The Bible shows that there will be an overflow of things in your life. But once there be an image of another person in you and not the image of God being visible now, where you are supposed to govern, you can no longer govern. You will now become governed. Where you are supposed to defeat, you will no longer defeat. You will now then become are we still together as a church? Are we still together as a church? We have encouraged each other as a church that let's go for prayer. That we go and speak with the Lord. That Lord, we want to become a church that is in your image. Because when we become a church that is in the image of God, then God will open ways where there are no ways. God will do great things in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. As we were talking about the issue of the birth of Christ, I showed that when Mary the young girl, when she was seen being pregnant, a young girl that was a virgin, and when she was seen being pregnant, the Bible says Joseph, who was promised to marry her decided to leave and I showed the church that if you lose the glory of your life then the good things that were supposed to come your way they will turn back in the name of Jesus Christ am I talking to the church I felt that I need to encourage you with the messages that I had already preached what excites me is is that when we go unto God God is there to do us by his grace I am saying to you when we go to God as a church. God is there to do great things for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our Bibles this afternoon in the book of Genesis chapter number 2. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter number 2. Let's get an NLT version. Let's, Let's also get it on the NLT version. Praise the Lord. Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter number 2. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Genesis Malaji. I agree with it also. The messages that are preached here, I have never met them anywhere. The revelation that I receive in this house, I have never had it being preached somewhere. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter number 2. From verse number 5. Boy, are you there? Hey? Praise the Lord. I will continue when you have spoken today. From verse number 5 to verse number 14. When no plant of the field was yet in the earth, no herb of the field had yet sprung up for the Lord had not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was no man to till the ground Hallelujah. praise the Lord this message I enjoyed it apostle this message I enjoyed it the rain came after man was created the things that sprout from the ground came out after man was created because those things that grew up they were being grown up for the person 
The rain, it was for the sake of the person. Just look at the position that God has put us on. Look at the position that God has put you on. I want to talk to you this afternoon. There are things that happened because you were born. But God forced them to come into being because you were born. That God created because you were born. You are not getting the point that I'm saying. Mm. Mm. I'm not sure whether the evangelist is thinking that Chipiwa was created because he was created first. Because that woman, she might have been created when God saw evangelist Malaji. Amen. That's right. Amen. Are we still together, church? Are we still together, church? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As I'm speaking this way, those that are at work, they have the evidence. Another post was created because you were there. That post was created because you were there. If you were not there, that post will not have been created. It will not have been created. Other cars in this world, they were created because you were there. God had to reach that he gave you. And he said that you cannot drive a new car. And he made another kind of car to be created just for you. Am I talking to you? Am I talking to you? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This can help us as a church. The things that you have. Know that they happened because you were there. If you were not there, those things will not be there. Because they wouldn't have a person to control. They wouldn't have somebody to control them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Church, can I hear your presence? Can I feel your presence, church? Praise the Lord. Verse 6. Verse 6. But there went up a mist from the land and watered the whole surface of the ground. And the mist rose up from the land Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And it watered the whole surface of the ground. Then God Lord, then the Lord God formed man. Then the Lord God formed man. When the mist rose up, when the mist came out from the ground, and God saw it fit that he needed to form a man. When I came across this message, and I heard the Lord talking to me, and he said the first womb that carried the man is the ground. Mm. The second womb that carried the man Maria. It is of Mary mm. The first womb Hallelujah. Praise the Lord After the ground has and been moistened After the ground has been made white by the mist Then God created a man In the name Hallelujah. of Jesus Christ that of the ground and he breathed into his nostrils the breath or spirit of life and man became a living being. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. After God had created this man, the Bible says God took his breath and he breathed into the nostrils of the man that was created and that spirit entered into a person it entered into the soil and it became a living spirit and that was the starting of life in that person 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor that the prophet has said, I am coming where you are. That which is holding you will be leaving you not long. Just be listening carefully in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, God, he created man. After creating man, that man, he breathed into him. He breathed spirit into the nostrils of this man. It was the first man. In the Old Testament. The first man. In the New Testament. He changed the strategy. He no longer breathed the spirit into the nostrils. But the spirit went and dwelt into the womb. The spirit went and dwelt into the womb. In the first case, he breathed into the nostrils. That which you do during the emergency time, when you find somebody that has fainted and you go and do emergency resuscitation, you are saying to them, I am giving you life. I am bringing life back to you. The first person, Dr. Nedoy, the first person, he was breathed into by the Lord and God brought the spirit into him and he brought it into the man who was in the womb of the ground. Are you listening to this? When we go to the first person in the New Testament, God took his spirit and bestowed it in the womb of the young girl. That was not dirty. Look at it. Look at the creation of God. Hella, don't kill yourself. And don't lose your hope. Before God, you are an important person. When you are seated here, you are breathing the spirit of God. You are breathing the way that God favors us. He didn't do it to the animals, but he did it to a person. I am saying he didn't do the same to the animals. Am I still with you? Are we still together, church? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When the Lord said, I shall share with you this message. When he said, a slave rose up from the ground. Mist rose up from the ground. And it watered the land. And the Lord said something that hurt my spirit. If I don't complete this message, I will continue on it. My spirit was in pain. That that which comes from the ground has power. You didn't hear what I said. If you find yourself troubled by the spirit from the ground, that when you speak you say it is from the dead. And you say the dead are not at peace. The dead are looking for a name. The dead want to be worshipped. Those that are in the grave are speaking. Allow me to tell you this. The spirits that are from the ground, they are very powerful and they have the power to create. They have the power to create. And the Bible says the mist came from the ground. Mist came from the ground. Where you and I are now living. Where you and I sleep on. Look at me. Where you and I always walk on. I am talking on this land. The very same ground where the mist came from. And I ask myself the question. I studied geography. But I don't remember coming across a statement like this. I thought mist came from the sky. I'm a geographer. I used to think that mist comes from the sky, but I heard the Lord speaking. And I started to look. I have got so many years that I walked on the mountain as I was driving to work. Indeed, this you will see it coming from the ground. It will rise up from the ground. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the things from the ground that are rising up against you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the things from the ground. The things that were planted on the ground from your family. What are they saying about your life? I don't know those that rose from the ground. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Allow me to share with you something here. 
I was talking to the apostle in the morning. And I said, after we have sung a song that says, those that are in the ground have failed in this church. Created by the person who created it. I will never mention the name of the person. I spoke to the apostle and said, after singing that song, go and look at what happened to their life. Many enemies rose up. The spirits from their house rose up. And they tried to destroy her life left and right. Because she had started war against dangerous spirits. She had spoken to the things that are holding the She was being to things that are holding the family. She was speaking with the things that hold the person. You come from the ground. The spirits that are from the ground are very dangerous. They can destroy you in one night. They can cause you enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the Bible says mist came out from the ground and it watered the land. And then a person was created after. And then a person was created after. It rose up like a mist. In your life, it rose up like a mist. And in sunlight is not coming. That, that can then take away the mist. Mist is created when light comes. I am saying, mist comes when the light comes. If light doesn't come, if sunlight cannot come, then the mist will be there for the whole day. The mist will be there for the whole day. But if night comes, if darkness comes, then the mist becomes worse. The mist will become worse. It failed during daylight. Daylight it became worse. I am saying it was better during daylight. But when sun when sunset came, it became worse. Even your sickness is better during the day. But during the night it becomes worse. Even the sickness is better when there is a full moon. When the moon now comes to darkness, it becomes worse. God has to deliver you in the name of Jesus. I am saying God has to deliver us as a church in the name of Jesus. Am I still talking to somebody? Am I still talking to somebody here? Can you shake your neighbor and ask them, have you ever heard about this message? Have you ever heard this message? Have you ever come across this kind of teaching? Tell them that this is not of flesh and blood. It is a word that comes from God that has come to deliver the generations of this time. That has come to deliver our generations in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Way back, way back, people used to think that these were not messages that had life. But look, God is now going deeper and deeper because he wants to help my life and your life. I am saying he wants to help my life and your life. The demon that comes from the ground will have to leave you. The demon that is after your life will have to leave you in the name of Jesus. The demon that comes from the ground will have to leave you. The spirits from the ground will have to leave you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Talk to your neighbor and say, Prophet says, I'm coming where you are. God is right where you are. And, and God breathed into the nostrils of the breath of spirit of life. And man became a living being. The image that you are carrying. It has breathed unto you. It has a spirit that it gave you. It is not just an ordinary image. There is a spirit that you received. And it is alive. I am saying there is a spirit that you received. You are not just carrying an image only. 
The word of God said, let us create man in our image. After creating man, he breathed into that man. There is no image that you will carry without the spirit of that image. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear me? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hey. I don't know what I need to go deeper with regard to nostrils. How do you smell things? How do you smell things? You smell through your nostrils. That in this place there is something that is not in good order. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When your nostrils have now felt the smell of petrol, what now becomes ache? Your head will ache. After your head has ached, what rises in your stomach? You will then start to vomit. It will all start with the nose. Mm. Those of magic they will smell things. Those that perform magic, they can even smell you when you are still outside. That when you are still out of the vendor borders, they will smell that there is another kind of smell that is coming today. In an old person, from the Old Testament, they knew things through the nose. In the new person in the New Testament, he separated spirits through the Holy Spirit. Hello? He separated things. He separated spirits through the Holy Spirit. That is why when we say in, the, in your midst or your presence, you should know how to separate spirits. Because there are those that are using a nose to know your things. How do you see them? When they go out, they are not controlled by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody Hallelujah. here? Praise the Lord. Somebody who is in this house, your life has been smelled. They have sniffed your life. They knew that you will be in another place. But you never went there. You didn't go there. But this afternoon, the God of all flesh is here to help us in the name of Jesus Christ. I am saying he's here to help us in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Should I continue and go deeper with the nose? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Another person. I don't know whether you knew it when you said it. You said the Old Testament is not fighting against the New Testament. It is a hundred percent true statement. But it takes revelation to know that. It takes revelation to know that. Shake your neighbor and send the prophet says this afternoon God is here to deliver you and I in the name of Jesus. God is here to deliver you and I in the name of Jesus. The image that you and I are carrying the image that you and I are carrying it has its own spirit it has its own spirit. I am saying it has its own spirit. It has its own spirit. Other people you are not just failing. The image that you are carrying. It is an image of failure. It is an image of failure. Others you are not just getting divorced. But the image that you are carrying. It is an image to be divorced. Others you are not failing to secure jobs. But the one 
that you are carrying, it doesn't allow with the issue of you getting a job. But when you have come here in a place of a new beginning, then God has to do it in another way. God has to do it in another way. Let us now go to verse number 8. And the Lord God planted a garden towards, towards the east. Towards the east. Towards the east. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Towards the east. And the Lord God planted a garden towards the east. And there he put the man whom he had created. Right there. Towards the east. And God put a man whom he created. Apostle. And God said to me, towards the east is the beginning place. Towards the east is the beginning place. And God put a man in the garden of Eden towards the east. And God went and put a man. Listen to what happened after. after God has put a man in that place whom he created. And out of the ground the Lord God made to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight. Can you please come back to me? When God created you and when he put his breath in you the plan of God was that your eyes should see pleasant things. When the image of God had now departed from us and now the images of other people have taken over our eyes never saw pleasant things. Hello? Our eyes never saw exciting things. The things that come to our eyes will make us cry. What we see in our children, they make us to cry. What we see in our families, they fill us with pain. What we see in the church of Christ, it's very painful. What you see in your workplace, it's very painful. But after God created a man, what he put before a man, it was supposed to be pleasant towards his sight. Seriously, imagine and think what passed and what stood or what is sitting before us. Why are those things not exciting to us? Why are those things not pleasing to our eyes? What I see before me, why do they not make me to sleep well? Why do they make me not to sleep well? Whereas God has spoken that after he created a man and he has put him towards the east, what he made to grow before that person, it was something that was pleasant to his eyes. It was not only pleasant to the fight. The Bible says ought to be desired good for food. They were even good. They were even tasteful. But people we are seated here and there is no more taste. Maybe I was supposed to be preaching this in KZN. I am saying there are no tasteful things amongst Christians. I'm talking to the children of God. There is nothing that is good. And the Bible says even things that are eaten, they were tasteful. After today's prayer, something has to have a good taste in somebody's 
life. Somebody's family has to be close with you. Somebody. You have to enjoy your life. You have to enjoy your children. You have to enjoy by that which you are blessed with. You have to enjoy it. You can speak seated where you are. Let my eyes sleep listen things. Let my mouth eat tasteful things. I refuse to eat things that are not tasteful. I refuse to say hurtful things. I am refusing. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to see what is happening in my children, in my good health, in my workplace, in my marriage. I refuse. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Even when we are sitting here, there is somebody whom is not enjoying in their life. You are not enjoying in your life. That spirit has to leave you in the name of Jesus. The breath that you breathe, it doesn't believe in enjoying things of life. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? That which you breathed, it doesn't agree with the enjoyment of things. It doesn't allow your life to see exciting things. I want to prophesy over somebody this afternoon. Your days of seeing trouble and painful things have to come to an end in the name of Jesus. Your days of things being suffering the days of coming across pain they they must come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ may you see good things coming towards you may you see good things coming towards you may you see peace coming towards you that which happened in your life that you have to suffer until you die refuse in the name of Jesus Christ that which was spoken against your life that you have to be sick and leave your job it has to end in the name of Jesus, that which was spoken towards your life, in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord take control. May the Lord help you. May the Lord help you. I can feel somebody speaking in their heart. That prophet, since I was born, there is nothing tasteful in my life. There is nothing good in my life. I want to talk to you that 28 in Mujumu de Mutatuzi, 28 in Mujumu de your things will have to be tasteful from today. They will have to start to be good today. Your eyes will start to see good things today. In the name of God. Jesus, even to your children, even to your family, even to your health, even to your marriage, even to your everything, even to your business, we are saying in the name of Jesus. And the Lord spoke to me. And I saw another woman. I saw another woman. This woman if I'm not mistaken past two three weeks I sat down with her and I saw a vision and I heard the Lord speaking to me and he he said she's living in the years of the time that there is nothing going right in her family and the Lord spoke to me and said time is coming that I will make her to wear white things she will become known in her family because greater peace is coming because greater peace is coming it doesn't matter that the one who is suffering a yes as many years after this service the way open is there in the name of Jesus I am saying the way open is there in the name of Jesus can we give the Lord a hand of praise Jesus Hallelujah. praise the Lord Hallelujah. praise the Lord am I talking to somebody is there somebody that I'm talking to here it has to happen in your life it has to be right in your life and the Lord is speaking because he is called God in the name of Jesus Christ your eyes will see exciting things you will eat good things in your life I pray that even my children shall see Pleasant things. My children should see pleasant things. The church has to see pleasant things. The men of this church should see pleasant things. We have to eat tasteful things. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have to eat and feel the taste. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is there somebody who is taking this message? 
Even since you were born and you don't know the taste of life, you have come to a place of new beginnings. Good taste will start to be there. Good taste will start to be there. It will happen this year. Before 2018 comes come to an end, you will have the good taste of life. You will have the good taste of life. Your eyes will see exciting things. Before you, good things will come. In the living name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now a, river, now a river went out of Eden. Right there in Eden, a river came out. Let us talk all of us. Let us speak all of us. Right there in Eden, a river came out. Mm. Now this one troubles me. It stirs me up. Even if you read continuously, you will never understand the revelation that is coming your way. I believe you have read the whole verse. I believe you read the whole verse. Did you hear it saying anything? Does it have revelation for you? But it is coming with a very serious revelation. I am saying it has a very serious revelation. I want to bring a prophecy to each one of us sitting here. Right there in Egypt, a river came out. What surprises me, this river, the Bible says it moved into four branches. Did, did your English version say that? Now a river went out of Eden to water the garden and from there it divided and became four rivers. In the east, in the east, a place of new beginnings, right there in the east. Hello? Right there in Eden, a river came out. And it watered the garden. Now a river went out of Eden to water the garden. A river went out of Eden to water the garden. And from there it divided and became four rivers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It became four rivers. NLT. Oh. A river flowed from the land of Eden. A watering the garden and then dividing into four branches. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That river divided into four branches. And it was coming from Eden. But it came into four branches. These four branches. The other one was going to the east. The other one to the west. The other one to the south. To the, the other one to the north. Which means the whole world. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It came out into four branches. Are we still together? Are we still together, church? It divided into four branches. The first branch. Davila Utoma. Wapanda. The, the first is named Pishon. It is the one flowing around the whole land of Havila where there is gold. Where there is gold. Une Havana Musuku. Matina Mutimo Achisika Mutu, Kotoka Nedoe, 
Can't you, when God created yeah, man, Dr. Nadawe, the first thing, after everything has grown up, after the rivers were there, the river was not only coming to water the land, it was coming also to water the gold. The gold that belonged to a person. And I heard the Lord speaking to me. You and I, when we were born, each one of us were given a portion of the gold. Let me tell you, you have a portion of the gold. The problem is you don't know it. I am saying every person has a portion of gold. You, do, you are not hearing me because you are looking at the poverty of your father. You are looking and focusing on the poverty of your father. I'm talking about the Bible here in the name of Jesus. Let me read it so that you understand better. I chose to read these days so that somebody can understand what I'm reading. Watu wakwane wapande kanya wa ita mironga mina. Wapanda zinalawo wafi pisoni. Ndi ula unewa mwana na shango la havila. Lirena msuku. Musuku wale nelo shango ndi wabuti. The... Na nonja ya bendole. Ihone. Na nungu ya si. Si bobamu. The gold Zina of that. Zinalamu wabubili. Bakoswa. Zinalamu rambo wabubili. Lako no mentioniwa. The first river it was to water the gold. It was to water. And what does that mean? When you have put it on the right image, the spirit that you have inside will stir up the gold and it will come up to your life. You didn't hear me. But the image that you are carrying, Dr. Nedoy, it has poverty. It doesn't attract money. When you hold that money, it slips. But when you have put on the right image, the one that God spoke and said, let us create man in our image. Hello? In our image. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When you have put on the right image and you have breathed in the right spirit, it forces the river, the first river, to to bring up the gold so that it can come towards your life. Agapius, did you hear me very well? Look at what the image that you are carrying. How many good things it is robbing you. Others we try to put on the gold teeth. But gold was not meant for the teeth. You and I created, God created us for gold. And the Bible says, silver and gold belongs to the Lord. It is there in the book of Haggai. It says silver and gold belongs to God. It didn't start in the book of Haggai. It started in the book of Genesis. After God created man, he even put gold for him, even bronze for him, even silver for him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord has put it for us. But the image, the the image that we are carrying, it doesn't allow it. It refuses it. It says we are not to be successful. We are not to have good things. Should I tell you something? Will it treat you well? Hello? Will it treat you well? After there is something that was revealed, and I went and researched about it, and I found that it was true. Are you getting what I'm saying? I went and researched in my family, and I found that it is true. 
And I had the time to seek the face of God. That that which I am hearing, is this not magic? Can it happen to a person when a person is born? But the Lord revealed to me this statement. And the Lord revealed to me this issue. And I discovered that the things that I knew and I went and researched and I found that it was true. It is also there in the word of God with Sylvia. Hallelujah. Praise oh, the Lord. When I in you are waiting for me to share with you when the I things. In are you waiting for the things? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I went and discovered the issue. After ministering about the issue of giving birth, as I was preaching about the giving birth and the womb that a person will come from, and I went and discovered that when I came to this world, my color was somehow. Are you listening to me? I was not an albino. Are you listening to me? Hallelujah. I was not an albino. But when I went and did research, I discovered that I was born with a gold color. Are you listening to me? When I ask and inquire, what, what is the what meaning of this? And when I speak about it, my the blood the becomes somehow. When I inquired, what is the meaning of this? It was said it is because when you were born from the first hand until your last toe, you were born with gold and full of riches. Are you getting this message? But along the way, because I was born by people, I was born in a family that don't believe in God. My family thinks they didn't agree with the riches. My family thinks they didn't agree with God. My family thinks they didn't agree with being successful. They fought against my life. Listen to me, the servant of God telling you now. And it pained my spirit. When this message came to the open, it was said, do you think that what you have and what your God is doing, is it enough? It is more than what you see with your eyes. But because of the house that you were born into, of it limited you 2018 because God has whispered to you that he is the limit we can no longer stay are you getting this message and I went and cried unto God God that which is in my family is this not magic can a person be born with this kind of a color are you listening to Hallelujah. me? Praise the Lord. After I have done research and I completed, and I went also to my parents, and I inquired from my mother that she explained this for me. What I know when I grew up is, people said I grew up being a very light in complexion. Are you getting this? My mother explained everything. And then I came back to the word of God, and I cried unto God. And the Lord said, the land of gold was there. Even the river, I brought it to water. It. it is there, it is alive, it is in my word. That is when the first river, not the first, second one, but the first river. You need to go far. Your family things have limited you. Your family things. Everybody when you were born, you came with another kind of sign. Because the Bible says a person was created from the ground. Where we come from. All of us here. They worship the gods of the ground. Because they know that the gods of the ground they will be able to challenge the ground. When you till the ground, the things on the ground will die. 
You are not getting what I'm saying. When you till your garden, because you till on the ground, where you come from, the very first womb that carried the person, it died. It will die. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The gold that the Lord has bestowed Baba upon you, you have to inherit it while you are still alive. Your river has to flow. Your good things has to be there. Never allow your son to limit you. Never allow your blood to limit you. Never be limited by an image with the breath that you breathed. Am I speaking to somebody? Are you still inside the church? Is it scaring you that you are discovering yourself? Hello? May it speak to your life. May it speak to your life. There are things that are rising from the ground. The ground was supposed to be wetted. But those things that are rising, they don't wet the ground. They make the ground to be dry. They don't water the, the, the ground. They make the ground to be dry. There was supposed to be a mist. That is watering. So that living things can be created. But the spirit is rising. There is a spirit that is rising. And it's scattering everything. The poverty that which you are seeing before you it doesn't excite your eyes that which is you are eating is not good for you but I want to speak to somebody that 2018 the watch of life has to change the watch of life has to change the good things that we are robbed for years and years God has to restore them in 2018 there is nothing that God cannot do there is nothing impossible for God God. God is here, the Almighty. Where is your gold? Where is the gold of your life? Where is it? Where is the gold of your life? The gold means prosperity. We are talking about where is the prosperity of your life? The prosperity of your children. The prosperity of you serving God. Where is your prosperity in every area of your life? You may be saying I'm here. I can tell you where you are. You only work for 10 minutes. You are supposed to do 1,000 kilometers. But Satan has robbed you of 10 kilometers. And you think that you are Country, you are just close to your people. 2018, God has to do it another way. 2018, God has to do it in another way. What is it that you have breathed? What is it that you have breathed? Worshippers, please come. What is it that you have breathed? What is it that you have breathed? What is it that we have breathed? I was speaking to the apostle in the morning. He said, another singer once sing a song. And say, they snuff. The, do you know this song? They took the snuff and put it on the ground. When that person ended singing that song, he did not know that he was fighting with the spirits of a higher rank. He thought he was singing a song. The book of Revelation spoke and said, A dragon was seen coming from the ground. And it chased the woman who was pregnant. And it spew out the great water that filled the land. It wanted the woman who was pregnant to be swallowed by that water. Things that are from the ground are destroying you. We are Africans. There is nobody whom they don't have the idol from the ground. They are there. Look at how they are destroying you. Look at how they are destroying your families. Let's see how they are destroying our children. The spirits from the ground has to be Spirits from the ground. 
When you see a person being delivered to the spirit, we want to kill them. When they kill you, there is nobody who can be killed and buried in the space. They said, come and empower the ground. Come and fill the ground. Those who are powerless, I want to speak to somebody. You have to come back from the death that you are going to. You have to come back from the death that you are going to. With our children, have to come back from the death that you even our family says to come to the church that they are going to. And everything in our lives has to come to the church that they are going to. God has to deliver us this afternoon. I don't know what you know this man. But what is there is the image that you are carrying has left the, the spirit. It left the spirit. It left the spirit. 